life. Uh, I apologize for the cell phone video, but I was going to have to record on the cell phone anyway, so I decided to just do it while I was driving to kind of um, save me time because I have other stuff I need to do once I get home. Um, so this week's topic is about having familiars, and I know very, very little about this topic. I was actually going to bow out of this, but I was talking to a friend of mine, and he had suggested for me to go in a different direction than people usually think. So, usually when you think of having a familiar, you think of having a familiar animal. Um, it's usually a cat or a dog. I do believe um, Raven has a sink for a familiar, and he showed up in his videos on his collab channel. And, um, so they do come in different forms, but for the most part, I think it's because cats and dogs are more popular as animals. That's what it is. I joke that my familiar is my goldfish because its tank is right next to my altar, and um, he, was, he, she will splash water on it every once in a while. And actually, the other day, I lay down to go to bed, and I heard a little splash, and I realized I forgot to feed the fish, so the fish was telling me to be fed. So. That's, I don't feel that um, a fish can be a familiar. I don't think their brains are big enough. But um, a familiar essentially will help you with your magic and will teach you different magic. And they can actually take on sequences and stuff like that too. And hexes that people throw at you. So you have to be really careful. Um, I know somebody who that uh, had happened to. So you, you do have to keep an eye and keep a watch and everything else because you have a connection with that animal. Um, but the direction that I really wanted to go into, and um, before I start, I'm not going to claim to know everything about this topic. I'm actually going to refer you to a video if you want more into it um, that covers it a lot more extensively. Um, but it's more about having a familiar spirit. Now, a familiar spirit, spirit, um, just like any other spirit, except what you do is they may come to you and tell you they want to work with you, and or you can actually attract them to you if you need something. Um, I don't know too much about it if it's in the, if it's close to a servitor. I don't really know. I that's the type of stuff that I really need to um, look into more and find out more about. Um, but you're going to you attract this spirit, and it does your your work. Um, it helps you with your work as well for you. Um, so this is what uh, was spoke about many many years ago when. You know, people were accused of witchcraft and recording with the devil and um, the imps and the little, little demons and everything else and um, having them suckle and feed them blood and the witch's teat and that whole thing back in the um, Salem Witch Trials era. Um, so, and that is actually from the information that I had uh, gathered, it's, it's true, um, they go and um, petition basically the king of, I'm not sure of what, and he would, if he felt the need, provide you with the spirit to work with. Um, so you can find more about that information in the video of actually going to link to. Uh, so I thought that that was very interesting. So it seems like a lot of this um, topic is in folklore and also in truth. And of course, a lot of things that we find that are in folklore are actually true. So um, I don't know, I just found this topic really interesting. And this is a topic I actually want to research more on my own. I have not had the opportunity to do so this week and this seems like this is a topic that's going to take a lot more than a week to actually um, cover and learn about. So, 
I hope that was somewhat helpful. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to pretend to know everything about it, and I could have just studied up on it and just spewed out somebody else's information, but that's not me. I'm not going to do that. So I will link you to the video, and you should check out some of his other stuff too because he's excellent. He's more into the old world um, traditional witchcraft type of stuff, um, which is actually stuff I'm going to start looking into more. And uh, I hope you have a good Monday and a blessed week.